This is a guy who's 60 years old. Had a stroke 10 years ago. And he's just embracing life. I'm doing a tri-tip right, right now. Um, salt, pepper, garlic salt. Olive oil on the grill. And uh, you want to make sure that you get it nice and brown like this. Let me show you. Never a dull moment with Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> In the same bay, I think that we're going, Avila Beach, that those people, those ladies were flipped in their kayak. Was that Avila Beach? Or was that Morro Bay? No, it was Avila Beach. We love that lock. It's like the best invention ever. It's so easy. You come out of nowhere and you go, <laughs> I love the lock. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> so, where are we headed? We're going to the secret garden. For cinnamon roll, coffee. I'm hoping cinnamon roll, but it did say <laughs> cinnamon roll and Bloody Mary, so I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I think you're just going for the Bloody Mary. I think I'm going for the Bloody that Mary. That could be a breakfast. Uh, we've seen where they've made, yeah, lots of stuff coming out of them. We are gonna have to take the Bob Jones Trail, which you guys know us. Once again, we have found a fantastic trail. It's actually from the KOA. You just go out and what do you, maybe 100 yards or so, catch the trail. It's three miles down to the beach and then three miles back. Super nice it's ride. A great trail. Yeah, come with us. Let's go get some breakfast. Secret garden is gonna have to remain a secret a little bit longer because it's closed. We just thought it was open. We might have looked at the wrong secret garden. So we're gonna head to another place. I think it's called Woodside. So let's go. We are at the Woodside Marketplace and they've got breakfast and it's actually a really chilly almost feels like fall it feels amazing fall is my favorite season ever so a uh, little nip in the air which is very nice and very welcome Stan's getting the bikes all settled we didn't bring a lock but we're hopefully gonna just sit right outside you can see other people over there with their bikes parked we're gonna go check it out it looks yummy That's the one I got too. Good choice. I felt like I needed a good morning. Did you see any sweet? Press. For one. Whoa. Line it up. Stan likes that really sweet. <laughs> We're destroying this cinnamon roll. <laughs> we are. I thought it was going to be softer. Kind of. Well, it cooled down very fast. It was very hot. Oh. And it cooled down very hot. That's good. This is quite the hangout. This is like a lot of cyclists. I think they do the trail and stop here and it looks like they meet for breakfast. It's kind of cool. So I think we found a little treasure. Actually did come highly recommended by our son-in-law and he grew up in Fresno but grew up coming to this area. So they were very familiar with this. So guess what? I got my breakfast and I didn't take a bite. Aren't you proud of me? Well, I stopped him. <laughs> I did. I had to stop you. You 
I was trying to <laughs> zell in my moment here, you know, and then you had to spoil it again. All right. All right, so, real quick in a nutshell. What did you get? Sausage, in a tortilla. breakfast burrito. Nice. My average. This is right on the bike trail. And it's kind of like the hangout, like Rhonda said. So, all right, what do you got? Uh, I got the special. I got the veggie scramble. It just looked good. And look at it. I mean, potatoes, eggs, bell peppers. It looks incredible. This is coming on the tail of our cinnamon roll and what's left of it. Look at that. Did you like it? It was really good. Yes. I think the environment was really good. <laughs> good. <laughs> right. All the bicyclists. Over the hill adventurers. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I could only dream to be in their age and to be shape. that active and yeah. to be in that kind of shape. Yeah, for sure. So inspiring, yeah. so inspiring. Love it. And they had clip in shoes. <laughs> They're 90 years old, clip in <laughs> shoes, folks. But they sat there the whole time talking about their aches and pains and. Uh, yeah. This one fell and that one fell and bumped their head and all that fun stuff. But so. that's my golden life. <laughs> Okay. Clip in shoes at 90. Stan's got my leftovers in the, I don't know, squished in the middle there. You see it? That's pretty funny. Oh, hello. All right, let's go, folks. Before I get run over. Both ways, man. No. There should be a stop sign. Okay, good to the left, good, clear. camping wood yard RV camping Wow WY5, you got, yeah, they're nicely marked actually. You got lines, you got lines. Those are big sites. No hookups. Never a dull moment with Rhonda. <laughs> we said we were going to take the <laughs> afternoon off and we have found ourselves at the dog beach. This is great. This is called Old Port Beach, the only off-leash dog beach in the area. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, and then we went and scoped out where we can launch our kayak. So that's exciting. Come on. I'm not used to holding the camera anymore because my beautiful wife has taken over the camera duty. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, hey, I want to show you guys how I do my tri-tip. Um, so I'm doing a tri-tip right, right now. Um, salt, pepper, garlic salt, olive oil on the grill. And uh, you want to make sure that you get it nice and brown like this. Let me show you. See that? Nice little brown crust like that. Once it's like that, you flip it over. Look at that. This is tri-tip on the blackstone. And you throw a little bit of butter. And the next thing what we're going to do here, we're getting this nice and hot. And we're going to get some uh, 
some little yellow potatoes. We'll get some, get some garlic, some olive oil. And we'll get that on there in just a sec. All right, so I love these Blackstone potatoes. And what we do is we take these little yellow potatoes, get a little bit of garlic, olive oil, get the grill real hot, you brown your potatoes real good, and then uh, we get our tri-tip right at about medium, medium to medium rare, and then with the potatoes, some salad, and you're good to go. Good morning. Good morning. We are at Montaña de Oro State Park once again. Yes. And we are so excited about this ride. And we are going to ride <laughs> to Oaks Peak. And Oaks Peak is about 1,433 uh, 14, 1, feet high. And we'll Ooh. be climbing to the top. This is an 11.3 mile trip out and back. And uh, this is the highest peak in the state park. This state park has primitive camping. This morning we were greeted by a flock of huge turkeys. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was awesome to see. Y yesterday, Rhonda photographed, I have to count it, but he, I think he was a 10 point buck. Huge, huge old guy. Yeah. And he was just so mm -hmm. majestic. It is absolutely beautiful and if you look we've got a peek out the back window mm -hmm. you'll see our bikes and we're sitting right on the cliff above the ocean mm -hmm. and um it is just beautiful i told ron i said after our ride we will just pop out the chairs and we'll be able just to for take a moment and just take this in this will be the last time we'll be in the state park because yeah, so. we have a few more places uh, yesterday we had a great time we went and kind of scoped out avila beach and we also looked at a place we, where we may want to launch the kayaks. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. And I, we saw otters right there. <laughs> I was excited to see that. We heard the seals. There was caught on video in the same bay, I think, that we're going, Avila Beach, that those people, those ladies were flipped in their kayak. Was that Avila Beach? Or was that Morro Bay? No, it was Avila Beach. <laughs> Harbor officials say two women are lucky to be alive after a humpback whale capsized their kayak in Avila Beach yesterday. This video is incredible. The incident near the Cal Poly Pier was caught on video by multiple people in the area. Julie, Julie McSorley, who lives nearby, says she went out Sunday, took pictures of the whales, and convinced her friend to go out kayaking with her yesterday. McSorley says there were a lot of birds and fish in the area, so people had their phones out thinking something might happen. She says they could see whales off in the distance, but then seconds later, one was right underneath them. Well, we're not going to be going out that far. <laughs> no, I'm going to stay where I can see the shore and swim to it if I have to. We do not want to be in the belly of a whale for three days <laughs> and then be spit out on the beach. We've got lots, lots, <gasps> lots to, do. to do. And time is fleeting. I will say... It just seems like right now in September, this after Labor Day is the off season. It, it, yeah. it seems. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's seven o'clock, and it's. And we're wasting time because I we want it to get a little warmer. What it's, is it? September the ninth. We're never happy. Yes. And we're watching a beautiful sunrise. Yeah. We're the only ones here. Come with us. All right, let's go. But you see that mountain up there? That's where we're headed. This is the difference about being able to do this on a mountain e-bike is we're actually considering this ride. Whereas we would not be doing this on our regular bikes. Just don't have the, the fitness level of some of these youngsters. And I certainly felt it when I turned 60, but you can still enjoy it now. And for those of you who don't think you're not getting a workout, you are definitely getting a workout. The Lord has blessed us on a beautiful day, beautiful views, oh my gosh.
I would have never attempted this on a conventional bike. No way, no how. All right, this is it. I'm gonna try it and see what it's like and, uh, and, and see how that goes. That's awesome. All right, here we go. I guess this is the ultimate e-bike test, I guess. Well, I did good. It's because of the loose rock. Well, I've got my bike parked back there and I'm gonna walk. It's a half a mile to the top. <laughs> it's not the peak we thought it was. That's what's crazy. Stan is crazy. <laughs> I'm actually so so proud of my husband. This is a guy who's 60 years old, had a stroke 10 years ago, and is just embracing life and challenges and loving it. So what I call crazy, I'm actually very proud of him. It's awesome. Good job, babe. Okay, I decided to go on and get to the top of this baby. What we thought was the top wasn't the top. So I left Ronnie behind. She does not like rocks. The technical part of this really sucks. Because uh, it's loose rock. Well, I attempt to do most things. <laughs> Except most challenges some degree but I hiked up that thinking this was the top and uh, it's not the peak is behind over there Stan has gone on to ride it and reach the top you know what we're experiencing is because we bought e-bikes and we're up here at the top of a mountain by ourselves <laughs> it's crazy overlooking you know Morro Bay and the ocean and Unbelievable. Let's check in on Stan. I must say, anything I've done was rider error. This bike is incredible. Taking a break, I think he lost his momentum, and I think he's trying to get going again. But it's a little scary, like when you see him there, and I don't know what's going on. But he is moving forward now. By golly, he's gonna get that bike up there, and get that picture. Oats peak, boat, 1,400 foot elevation. There it is. Oaks Peak. Oh, there's Rhonda all the way over there. Was it? It's beautiful. Yeah? yeah. It's an interview with 
the Oaks Peak champion of the day. I'll tell you what, I was, even with an e-bike, I made a mistake and I was on a, in a, on a high gear. And so when I got to that one spot where I stopped, my tire started to spin. Oh. So that told me I was in the wrong gear. Like, but, yeah. But it was good. You needed more grit. Can you see my lonely bike down there? Let's go get it. A white rhino. Oh God. Now I rode, rode down that thing. Oh my gosh. Let's go to where it's nice and cool. I'm done with this place. Oh gosh, as we were heading back down, didn't get too far, I realized I didn't have my glasses. So Stan went back up, bless his heart. And he got them for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's true love, true love. And to ride that hill twice. I'd say something, but I can't. Well, it's because I fell on my tush. I can't even walk in rocks. Here's my suggestion. Rent an e-bike, because you can rent them. And try them out. And tell me if you're not getting a workout. It's, oh my gosh. Oh, and don't forget to pick the hot, biggest hill you can find so you can get a, the true experience of it all. Good job, honey. All right. Nothing like coming down and just having the ocean breeze hitting you straight in the face. It's amazing. Good job. Yeah. Hello, Hi, how are you guys? Yeah. Have a great ride, you guys. Are we there yet? I'm actually smiling and not crying, so that's a good ride. Signal track, uh, you gotta definitely make sure you have a bell. Safe. Uh, I gotta say, this is probably the best ride of my life so far. Oh, one more coming. Thank you. Oh my gosh. What'd you think? is extremely challenging. Not as challenging of a ride as you had though. Oh. But I challenged myself. I'm proud of you though. You did great. No, you did great. I'll tell ya. I'm exhausted though. So, great ride down, huh? Yeah, do you, what are the stats? Did you, did you, did you, well, you went farther than I did. We went 10.10 miles. Wow. And it was two hours and 18 minutes. And uh, I gotta say, I would not have done this mm -mm. with our regular bikes. I could not have done it. We are here because we wanna utilize our e-bikes and we sought after this place. This is what brought us to this area, to the central coast. And not to mention that the KOA had the rewards weekend so you got a free night but <laughs> that helped too we found that place and they had one spot left and it was just all meant to be nothing else was working out and i am so glad because this is awesome but if you don't ride e-bikes or you don't ride bikes you can hike all this stuff too if you want to you can come sit at the beach this is such a beautiful and then place. when you're done this look at the beauty see. isn't that incredible you're like one person on the beach I remember when I went around that one corner, I felt the ocean breeze yeah. and I go, oh my God, yeah. I know what's waiting for us. Oh. So, yeah, blessed time, very blessed time. 
I'm so grateful. Excellent ride. I'm glad it's good. <laughs> the only incident was me falling on my butt. <laughs> Slipping in the rocks. Not on the spike, but walking. Oh well. Well, what are we gonna call you, Rhonda? Rhonda Haphazard? Haphazard. <laughs> Happy hazard. <laughs> All right. Bye.